electric cars, often seen as the solution to lower CO2 levels in cities. But the consumer adoption rate has been slow. Here in Amsterdam, the city council has teamed up with car manufacturers, electric companies and the general population to try and make a difference. Well, I'm, uh, I'm living in Amsterdam uh, for 20 years right now. Uh, I'm 40 years old and I have two children. Uh, one is free and one is uh, one. And um, I want to, to, uh, to live the rest of my life in Amsterdam and I want uh, my children to have a, a clean, uh, clean environment to, to grow up. The Netherlands has long been a home for environmental activism and Florian is one of a growing surge in electric car owners. The local council decided to get proactive by rolling out one of the most extensive charging infrastructures in Europe. At first there were several cars. Now we have already um, almost 10,000 unique users in Amsterdam making use of the charging infrastructure. Uh, but it's still the beginning of the, um, well you could say, the, of the transition to uh, cleaner and smarter mobility in the city. Drivers are offered free street parking, tax breaks and a car sharing scheme called car to go It's hoped that all this momentum and the overall cheaper operating cost will drive greater use of these vehicles. When you sleep, you charge your car, so you always have a full, uh, full tank uh, filled with uh, electricity instead of uh, gasoline. And in the future there will be a dense network of um, uh, fast charging stations. So it will get uh, more fun and more convenient uh, in the, in the uh, near, near future. And it's not only private users. The council has also encouraged taxi companies to go electric. In fact, the whole fleet of e-vehicles service Schiphol Airport. Amsterdam sees itself as a pioneer in electric transport and its success could have repercussions for other cities all around the world.